he's got no food. Guess what we got? So I got a 1.5 liter air fryer from Kmart for $49. Reason is because I there there was no other uh, air fryer that is uh, medium size, so it's only like small one. And then the next one up is five liters. The ones in between was gone. Like there was only like one point five liters or five liters. And then there is a bigger one, a more expensive one. So I have to settle with the smaller one and the smallest one, which is fine because it's the cheapest one. But it is pretty small. Let me show you. Let's unbox this. So what is that? So do you just press? Oh, okay. So it is still cooking right now um, and it smells like fish but before it started to smell like fish because I put fish in there uh, it just smelled like new appliance so I don't know whether this smell is gonna linger on or not but so far so good we still have about seven, set seven minutes to go I also bought some potatoes some Red, red potato and also some pork belly and some pork rasher so that's like pork ribs so I'm gonna give that a go maybe separately How does that look? Oh my god, look at that. I will take them out and we will see them closely. This is really good. So I just ate the skin. And I didn't add any oil. I didn't add any 
salt or like seasonings. This is really good. You don't have to put anything. You just chuck in the ingredients and it does its magic. Let's try with potatoes. So there is a maximum side over there that you're not supposed to um, go over. So I didn't see that the first time around, so I'm going to abide by it this time around. But it works out fine for the salmon, so I hope it works out okay for this one as well. So I'm just going to chuck all of this in and see whether they're going to be fitting the this small 1.5 liters uh this is really small by the way that's my hand and this like about 15 centimeters that long that length so that's about 15 centimeters um length wise so this is really tiny just like trying to keep the volume down i mean like the volume in terms of the uh i can't speak today but then again, might be might not be able to speak every day. <laughs> so I'm going to just shake this. Hopefully it will get into under the maximum level. Yep, it's still under. So it's fine. And I'm just going to chuck some butter into there. Just regular butter. And I'm also maybe going to try to do kales. I'm gonna put a little bit of kale in there. I need my hand. So that's. I'm going to put a little bit of. I feel like I'm very disorganized right now. Salt. Okay, I think I put too much. But I'm gonna put that there and I'm going to chuck it in. And we are going to. I think that's potato chips, isn't it? That one. That's potato chips. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's the fish right there. I didn't see the fish before. Anyway. Um, I thought that was the fish. But it works out fine. Uh, it's the same, it's the same uh, setting, which is 18 and 18... 180. With the shrimp one, so it's fine. So this one is going to press OK and we are going to wait for the chips. It's 20 minutes, it's longer than the one before, but we are going to finish this while that is cooking. It's done! Is it done? Okay, sounds like it's done. burnt I think I burnt it so all the kales are too crispy I think that was a bit overdone for the kale but the chips turns out okay I think or is it undercooked it's still undercooked actually that is not cooked I'm going to put it back in.
okay. I think. So, my review for it, this air fryer is um, it's very small and I think like if you are more than one person, even if you are a couple, I, really, I would suggest to buy a bigger air fryer just because um, even with this multiple attempt at frying this fry, um, it's not really coming out as, uh, as I predicted or as I wanted it to be. So I think you need to buy a bigger one if you want to make, um, you know, four people serving or two people serving. This is definitely for only one person serving type of cooking, which is great for me because I'm just cooking for myself. But the problem is I eat for, I eat like I eat for two people. I'm not pregnant or anything, but I just eat a lot because I don't eat often. So uh, for the price though, it's only $50, $49 for this. I think it's a great um, air fryer to, you know, for your first air fryer because it's not costly and you can kind of have a feel of how an air fryer works and how to navigate that. So I would still give it a 4 out of 5 because it's very easy. You just take it out of the box, you plug it in, and then you just cook. And it gives you a symbol of what you need to cook. You know, you either want to cook um, fish or like chips. You can just point on which, um, on which of the menu icon that you, um, that you want. And then it'll just cook it for you. It sets up its own uh, timers and its own... Um, temperature so yeah I think it's really good but um, if you eat a lot and if you eat um, a huge amount of portions I would suggest to go the next um, size up which is the three liter ones or the size after that which is the five liter ones there is a huge one as well as like I think the eight liter ones I definitely don't need it I think one liter is good for me so I can kind of just play around and see how I would um, portion it um, to make it crispy when in particularly in for for fries so I just have to play around with it but I was pretty happy with the salmon salmon was pretty good it just came out perfect it the skin was crispy um, I didn't add anything into that so yeah so that's my review for uh, air fryer so let me know, have you ever bought an air fryer? What do you think about it? Um, this one I bought from Kmart, so $49, pretty cheap. A good entry uh, level um, item. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone.